Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Clay Ramage and we have another video today, another haul video from our garage sale um, marathon. It feels like we did over two days um, back in our hometown of Delano, Minnesota. And so got some more stuff, uh, got some stuff out of the free bins, which I think is pretty incredible. And uh, some other fun items to uh, put up for resale. So if you're new to our channel, welcome. We uh, do videos on what we find during our thrifting adventures, whether it's at the Goodwill Outlet Bands, whether it's garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores of whatever sort. Um, and so, yeah, so that's what we do. If you like that kind of content, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the thumbs up button if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. Uh, it's all right with me. Um, but yeah, let's just get right into it. Here's a couple of things. Um, but actually, we've, well, doesn't matter when we found them. Um, <clears throat> this is a little Avon poodle um, perfume bottle. Still has the perfume in it. What flavor is it? Flavor. It's called Unforgettable. Um, <laughs> I don't recommend drinking it. Um, now, this one I found quite interesting because when I saw it, I'm like, oh, that's, you know, a cute little series. But then I noticed it. It was kind of different because usually these you would expect to be fully cast as one piece because it's a resin body. Um, but this one was the birds are separate, the the uh, halo is separate, and I just had pushed into in there with wires, and I thought that's kind of weird. Well, then on the bottom, this is we actually picked this up at a thrift store. It says prototype samples, not for. Not for resale. I did pay three dollars for this. Um, <clears throat> so this was actually a mock-up prototype that they were doing. This series, this artist is um, David Freikman. Some of you may recognize him. He's this is called the oldest of angels, I think, series. Um, but I cannot find this particular figurine. Um, so they may not might not have produced these. Um, but I just thought it was pretty amazing that it was a little prototype. Um, and it is marked stamped on the bottom on the base too, right there with his initials and the date. And the date is 1994. So I thought, oh, what a fun thing. Um, so we'll see. I'll do a little more research before I list it up there. But um, yeah, I just thought that was pretty cool to find a prototype. Um, not exactly the... Uh, most common thing you find. Let me cover the two two free items I got that I thought were pretty incredible. Um, you know, a lot of people at garage sales have the free box at the end of the driveway. Well, one of the things I got was this free camcorder. Um, this is a Sony Handycam. It's got all the instructions, booklets, all the cables, everything that goes with it for free. Does it work? I have no idea. But these in non-working condition with the accessories are, you know, 20 to $30. Working condition are 50 to 60. So <clears throat> that's free money to me. And then the other item, which I thought was pretty amazing, but I know why they put it in the free box, was this lamp. And uh, I was like, why would they have this in the free box? But I grabbed it, of course, right away. And there's a sticker that says free right on it. Um, but the reason is, is because the, it, somebody unwired it. So it needs to be rewired. I mean, it had no wire whatsoever. So, so you know, they could have used it for decoration or whatever. But, but yeah, so that was exciting. I'm going to rewire it and then put it up for sale. Probably $35, $40. So again, free money. We like it. Um, another free item. It's a little peacock figurine. This, these are the clip-on ones. So I grabbed that, especially with the holidays coming up. Cute little uh, um, why am I drawing a pink? Peacock decoration. Then um, I found this as another actually it was the same sale as the free items. It was this box and it says Five pieces, five dollars, so everything in it was a dollar a piece. And the five pieces were a couple lighters. 
um, which lighters are all co collectible as well. There was this watch, which was the main reason I picked it up. This is an old tower watch is the name of it. But then it's on a, on a watch holder with the Caterpillar um, emblem on the end, which I thought was interesting. I had a great uncle who worked um, at a factory and ran Caterpillar, so he had all these little things out there. But anyway, um, so I think this was probably, a, you know, like a 25 or 50 year retirement watch that somebody got. Um, and it does run, which is amazing. I just wound it a little bit. And you can, and this bottom dial, instead of a second hand, it's just a little dial that ticks around, which I think is really cool. And you can see it going around. So yeah, so that's pretty cool. Again, it's not in the best of shape. But the exciting find to me was this. My grandfather worked for Union Pacific Railroad for a long, long time. And it's a money clip. And I love money clips. So, And I use them all the time. So that was pretty awesome. That was the other reason I bought it. Because I saw the, I just saw the Union Pacific logo. I didn't see what it was. But I'd already decided to buy the box. So it didn't matter. Um, I did find a couple of other watches. This is an Anne Klein Diamond Series watch. And this one is a Citizens Echo Series watch. Both of them are ladies watches. Again, these are $15 to $20 in running condition. Which they are. So... I paid a dollar each for those. Also found this watch. This watch is a Bradley Time watch, which is a division of the Elgin Watch Company. So this is a pocket watch. Obviously nobody used it as a pocket watch, but it's got running horses on it. Oops. I got fumble fingers anymore. That doesn't sound good. knock the crystal off but yeah and just pop back in there we go so yeah so you can see it's got a decorative dial on there as well which doesn't really match the horse theme the, you know with the flowers inside so anyway again not an expensive pocket watch just a nice one but i paid three dollars for that so there's plenty of room to make some money um found pair of sterling earrings for a dollar. Oh, I found this too. I paid two dollars for this. This is a comb cover for the old-fashioned, you know, many times they were tortoiseshell or tortoiseshell looking combs. Um, and this particular one is, I don't know if you can see it, but it is sterling silver um, made by the Gorham Silver Company. And I love Gorham Silver, so had to get that. There was no comb with it, but for $2. Couldn't beat it. Then they sold these three items as a set. There's a one of these wonderful old swivel frames. I love the base. It's a nice decorative base. It's fairly, fairly large. This candle holder. Candle stick. It does have some condition issues with the molding here, the carved molding where it's obviously come off and wasn't glued back on very well. And it's missing a few chunks, but still a nice antique. And then it also comes with this bowl or compote, whatever you want to call it. Um, and now this is in much better shape than the candlestick. All of the molding is good. Now it probably originally would have just been this and two candlesticks and the frame did not come with it. And the frame is a separate item but they put the three together and I paid five dollars for all three of them which is awesome because I've sold a number of these swivel frames usually between 20 and 30 dollars and then uh, these two pieces I have no idea at this point what what I could sell them for but I just love them they were beautiful so anyway that was another great find and then other thing we found was a series of little vintage handbags. This one's really cute, the little handle. It's got a nice, nice interior, again, hardly used. This one does have a label in the bottom. It says, made in Hong Kong, but I love the beadwork. 
and I paid a dollar for that one, I believe. If not 50 cents, it was really cheap. I couldn't believe it. This is another one. Love the little handle. And it's got a little clasp. Opens really wide. Beautiful little design on the metal frame. No name on this one. Um, but the lining's in great shape. The exterior's in great shape. This suede material in the middle is discoloring a little bit. You can see the greenish tone to it. But And there's the little strap to put it around your arm. I just thought it was a very cute vintage purse. There's another little black vintage purse. Again, no name in it. Just a nice little clutch purse. And there's this beautiful beaded purse. Again, this one's not, you know, super vintage. Handmade in China. It's by Chadez. But I just thought the design was great. And again, there were three. These three were in a bag for, I think, $3. So it's like a dollar a purse for all of this stuff. Found a little puppy dog planter. Um, he did, does have a broken ear. But one of the things I wanted to do, and he is a great candidate because he was glued back wonderfully. He does have a little bit of missing. But I'm going to uh, see about actually repairing him and then touching him up. I want to try you know, touching him up to eliminate the crack. And if I sell him, obviously, I'll disclose that. But I've been wanting to try that for a while. I think he's a great candidate to do that on. Because I think I paid a quarter for him. So, not any money going on there. But this was the exciting find to me. And I know some of you will really like it, too. It's a whole set. There's like 30 vintage handkerchiefs for a dollar. And there's some really cute ones in here. This one. The No Fishing. Find them $100 or over. Isn't that just darling? And many of these are brand new, never used. They still have the little stickers on them, which is amazing. This one says made in Switzerland, hand cut or all cotton. And then it says hand rolled, which means the edges were hand done, which is really cool. Um, there's a number of floral designs. Like that one as well. This one, this one's even still, again, I don't think a lot of these were ever used. This is a tie-dyed one, which I thought was really kind of funny. So we kind of know when that, that one came out. Very artistic. There's another little floral embroidery design. And there's some... Some fabulous ones. I'm taking a little more time on these, but they're just gorgeous. Look at that leaf pattern. And here's just a plain one with a tatted edge, which is nice. This one is darling. Little kittens. Just a tiny hanky with kittens. Isn't that great? <laughs> oh. And there's several that are just embroidered with flowers on them. Here's a leaf one. It's kind of a fall fall design. Again, here's the original sticker on it. It's a Kimball. Pure linen. Christmas one. Poinsettia. Here's another beautiful floral one. Here's another one with the label on it. This one is a Burmel, as seen in Vogue. So there you go, you know that one's special. All pure hand-rolled linen. This one is still all folded up. Another beautiful floral one. <clears throat> and here's a black one for the formal evening occasion with embroidered flowers on it. Here's a um, one with a monogram on it, just a letter H. 
And this one I thought was pretty cool too. It's money. <laughs> it's got different denominations on it. Venezuela, Canada, England, Cuba. <laughs> that one's pretty fun. This one is, again, just very unique. Look at the horse and riders on here. This is actually a horse race. So I don't know if, you know, this came from one of the, you know, major horse racing areas or not. This one is actually, has the designer's name on it. Tamas Keefe. I haven't looked that up. Here's another vintage with fruit. <laughs> Slices of lemon. Oh, this one has a name on it too. I didn't even notice that. Faith Austin. So, I'm going to have to look these people up. I have not done any research on this. Oh, here's another one that's signed. It's got a cute little... Let me unfold the whole thing. There. Cute little deer on it. See it signed down in the corner? What was that signed by? Carl Tate. And there you go. I've not heard of any of these people yet. They were probably fairly well-known designers back in the... Let's say 40s and 50s. This one is really cool. It's a California, probably souvenir, but it's you know an embroidered cat state of California with all the major cities. It's just it's really really well done. So I don't know if this was hand done. I don't. Uh, yeah, this was hand done. There's no way you could do this on a machine. You can tell because of the stitching. Again, I don't know when these are from. Oh, here's one that's definitely been used. It's one of the older ones, a little tattered and got a few stains on it. Um, yeah, I could be here all day just going through these. And the rest of these are just pretty basic linen with tatted edges. So plain, but yeah, that was an incredible find. So that's gonna entail some research on some of those. Oh, <laughs> amazing for a dollar. Hold it up for a dollar. Wow. All right. So then I got myself a project. One of the things I've always wanted to do was use book spines um, in a project and happened to find a whole lot of them already made up so I don't have to cut them off of books for two dollars. So that's a future project video. <laughs> That'll be fun. Um... My wife found this one. It's a, it's a, oh, the old cups and disappearing ball. You know, find the ball under the cup. So there's nothing on it outside of the top. So I don't know if it was part of a whole set. It probably was originally part of a set of different tricks in a box that would have described the company and all that. So, but still, that was pretty fun. Um, and yes, I found another piece of artwork. Beautiful coastal scene with the seagulls. This one is by Richard Hazelton. Um, and again, it's, I paid $2 for it. It's a, you know, $30 to $40 painting, watercolor. Oh, but you know me, I love my artwork. Oh, lots of stuff. I found this broken down box. This was in a free box also. But they're old um, cotton swabs. Now I'm going to use these for... You know cleaning silver and different stuff like that um, but these were originally designed for cleaning tape deck heads um, but for free couldn't resist them right lots of fun stuff um, found a pair of binoculars these are Bushnell which are a great brand of binoculars smaller portable ones great for bird watching so um, I paid we paid two dollars for these so these are you know 20 to 30 dollar binoculars good find um, found this tin, which I really liked. It's a yellow tin, round tin with a nice knob on top. It is made in England. Oh, I don't know what it originally contained. It doesn't say. Could be biscuits or something. But, but yeah, beautiful container. A um, couple old decks of cards. <laughs> Love that scene. Had to get them just because of the scene on those. 
Oh, found this in the free box. It's a it's a six point six ounce Starbucks mug, so it's a small one. Um, but it's got some cool animal designs on it, which these are the kind you can replace that the interior with different scenes. So somebody put that in there, but I really liked it, so got that one. Um, then I got this, and this is going to be a gift to somebody. It's a strawberry paperweight. I don't know who's going to get it yet, but somebody's going to get it. Paid a dollar for that. Um, this was in a free box. It's one of the stamped Mexican wallets. You know, there's a lot of these. This is one of the lower quality ones. It's not a heavy leather or anything. Something else that was a uh, fun find was... There's a, this is a piece of Hager pottery. And then there's also the ashtray that matches it. So this was to hold your cigarettes, and this was the ashtray to put your cigarettes out on. Um, and they said that there also was a lighter that matched it, but it got lost over the years. So they only had these two pieces. Um, but I think I paid a dollar for both pieces. So good deal. Then I found some Ray Dunn mugs. Found uh, one tea and two coffee mugs. So, again, these sell for about $10 each. Um, but I paid 50 cents each for them. So, again, a nice profit for, for 50 cents. Found a little mushroom coffee mug. Look at that handle. Isn't that gorgeous? This was one of those, um, you know project art project where you go in to the ceramic studio and paint it and they fire it for you um paid a dollar for that i just liked it because it was well done it looks really nice gives you that 60s 70s vibe and then last but not least on this i found this little pottery base i haven't looked up the person yet it is signed on the bottom um Looks like Pam or Tom Rogers. So, but yeah, I just liked it for a dollar. Um, and I think that sums up the majority of what we got. It seems to me I got, there's something else I'm missing, but for the most part, that's what we have. So it was a, it's a fun time um, garage sailing and a couple thrift stores we hit while we were there too. But found some great deals. Definitely going to make a lot of money. And um, yeah, besides it was a lot of fun. Regardless if we're going to make any money. <laughs> and I have no idea what we'd spent all total. Probably $60 to $70 for everything that we bought. A lot of personal stuff as well as um, stuff for resale. So anyway, thank you guys. Have a good day. See ya. Bye.